I think one of the reasons that games have not found the acceptability that interactive whiteboards have found is because there's lack of understanding that actually interactive whiteboards are a platform. They're not a teaching device, they're actually a platform on which you can play off all number of things. And what needs to happen, and I hope will happen quite quickly, is that the games manufacturers should look at the installed base of white whiteboards and realise that that's their opportunity. No, I don't think any government is going to suddenly put his hand deep in his pocket, especially in the economic situation we find ourselves in, and start shelling out for uh, Xboxes and, and, uh, and PlayStation 3s for schools. But what they will do is, I think, pay for really compelling software which has been originally conceived for those platforms and adapted to work off the interactive whiteboard. So what I would urge uh, many of, uh, you know, games developers to do is ensure that the flexibility of the game, that they build flexibility in the game and use the installed base, the whiteboard installed base, as their platform. That, I think, would have a huge impact uh, of making games a lot more acceptable in the classroom. Well, it's all about, in the end, it's all about opportunity. I have the huge privilege of being a Chancellor of the Open University. And what's brilliant about the Open University, and I've got a graduation ceremony tomorrow, as a matter of fact, uh, is that everyone that comes across the stage, we have 185,000 students, everyone that crosses that stage and shakes hands with me is a story. These are not kids aged 22 who went to university almost by rote because mum and dad wanted that. These are people who had to make very, very important decisions about how they were going to climb onto and then deal with the educational ladder. So the, uh, for me, they're all absolute heroes. Some of them take five years over a degree. I had someone this, uh, last week telling me it had been 10 years doing this degree. These are heroic figures. What I would like to see is the type of opportunity that was opened up by the 40 years ago in the conception of the Open University made absolutely generally available. Anyone and everyone ought to have the opportunity to put, get onto the first rung of that ladder. And then they're on their own. That's all you can do in life. I mean, I am a socialist, but I'm sufficiently pragmatic to know that you can't make people's lives for them. But what you damn well can do is ensure that there's an equality of opportunity that allows them to have a crack at life. And that's our responsibility, and that's the responsibility of all educationists.